Hey, stop scrolling, this changes everything. What if I told you American submarines can't dive as deep as their Russian counterparts? It's true. Decades of intense rivalry during the Cold War drove each nation down distinct paths. Most US submarines are built with steel hulls. Steel is strong, reliable and easy to work with. But there's a limit. Think of it like this. Steel is a sturdy shield, but pressure finds a way. Virginia-class subs typically operate at 800 to 1,000 feet. Russia went another way using titanium. Titanium is far stronger and lighter than steel. It laughs in the face of corrosion. Some Russian subs could plunge beyond 2,000 feet. That's nearly twice the depth. Imagine the pressure those subs could withstand. So why didn't the US just copy them? Here's the brutal truth. Titanium is brutally expensive and notoriously difficult to weld. And get this, every deep dive weakens the titanium hull, making it brittle. Eventually the sub becomes a liability. Someone once said, sometimes the greatest strength is knowing your limitations. The US made a calculated risk. Instead of chasing depth, they focused on lethality. They designed torpedoes that could outsmart and outgun anything in the water. The Mark 48 torpedo was faster and could reach greater depths than any enemy submarine. Today, Russia still has a few of those ultra-deep divers, but many are gone. The Cold War mentality is over. The US bet on better weapons, not deeper hulls. And sometimes, the smartest move isn't the flashiest one. This matters because it shows how necessity drives innovation. It shows the different paths superpowers take. It also shows how technological prowess doesn't always mean the same thing as tactical advantage. This is the real story behind the silent war beneath the waves. Want more mind-blowing facts? Hit that subscribe button. Unlock the hidden world, expand your world and never stop questioning.